and welcome back to yet another episode of Inside Value with me, Siam Dingi. It is wonderful to have you here. And it's even more wonderful to have you here in this week's episode because this is the season one finale for Inside Value. It's been 10 incredible weeks with you guys, both on Spotify, on Apple Podcasts, on Google Podcasts, on YouTube. And this week's episode, I wanted to be a little bit different from the last nine. And I wanted to use it as sort of a review process to see how far we've come in terms of the intention of the podcast and also as a forward looking, I forget what the word is for, is it prospective and retrospective? I think it is. It's that, it's exactly that (laughs) Uh, look as to what it is that I would like or that I would love to have Inside Value become. I do want to spend this episode reflecting on Inside Value, what it became over the past 10 weeks and what I want it to become in future seasons. So first and foremost, thank you so much. If you've been here since episode number one, thank you so much for joining in week after week after week for the past 10 weeks. So incredible to think that we have been here for the past 10 weeks That is two and a half months. It's mind boggling to me, especially since Inside Value was a project that I wanted to start as a way to share information on value innovation, value creation and value strategy. And as a matter of fact, I would like to share the origin story of Inside Value. So ultimately, Inside Value was a personal project that I decided to take on for myself for 2024. Inside Value started off as a way for me to share information on value creation, value innovation, and value strategy, which are the areas of my expertise. I had intended it as, you know, an informative podcast where you could come in, learn a little something new, and leave having learned something entirely uh, new about these topics. I developed value innovation and value strategy as a methodology and a concept with an accompanying framework to essentially help businesses and nonprofit organizations make sense of value creation. Value creation itself is not anything new by any stretch of the imagination, but I had wanted to create a reliable way wherein businesses and nonprofit organizations would be able to identify, leverage, and create value within their operations and their day-to-day. That's the overview of it all. What Inside Value was, was effectively a way for me to share those insights, to share that knowledge, to share that groundwork of understanding exactly what value innovation and value strategy was. Think of it like, your own, your very own classroom inside of Spotify. That was my intention for the podcast. And of course, because I didn't want the content to be stale, I didn't want you guys to start getting bored to death as you were listening. I also included some guests so as to show the practical applications of value innovation and value strategy, which was hugely fun. I enjoyed both of the guests that had managed to arrive. I had actually planned for there to be three guests over the season of the first season. However, unfortunately, my third guest couldn't make it during because of scheduling conflicts. In actuality, Inside Value was actually supposed to have 12 episodes. Um, And because of scheduling conflicts, both with myself and guests and myself and myself in terms of recording the content, I could not get it to 12 episodes, which is perfectly fine. 10 episodes is still a fantastic amount for Uh, starting from scratch. The other thing I want to mention is that I started Inside Value literally inside of my room. As you can see, the backdrop are these beautiful, wonderful, soft cushions. I did not and still do not have the equipment to record podcasts. I was doing this entirely, or I am doing this and will continue to do this for a while, entirely bootstrapped. And that was a source of hmm, anxiety (laughs) for me. I'm not going to lie because with podcasts these days, you tend to see entire setups, entire backdrops, professional mics, professional locations, really gorgeous looking um, 
spaces and places. And I didn't quite have access to that. But I still really wanted to have a podcast that would be put out in terms of the content and the knowledge that I had to share. And I said, well, why stop myself from starting? I may as well do it. I really want to do it. I may as well do it. So these episodes have been entirely recorded on a laptop and these headsets that I've got in. And I've actually gotten remarkably clear audio, which is amazing, sensational, <laughs> shocking to say the very least. And to be perfectly honest, this entire journey has been an enormous amount of fun. Granted, there were days where I found it a little bit tedious to wake up in the morning and have to record an episode. But the knowledge that at the end of it, I would have an episode that I would be putting out into the world, that I would have people listen to and learn a little bit more about value creation, both for their businesses and nonprofit organizations, regardless of size, was something that you know kept me going in terms of recording the episodes. Because I'm not going to lie, the schedule was looking very, 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 very crazy for a time in between all of these 10 weeks. It wasn't always the easiest to schedule in a recording, which you would think would have been remarkably easy because I was doing this on my laptop and my headsets in my room. Not so, not so, not so. <laughs> Inside Value was actually born of an impulse that I had shared with a friend of mine where I had mentioned to her that, listen, I'm looking for a way to disseminate this information on value innovation and value strategy. Sharing on you know, the website, on the social media platforms was one way, but I was very much interested in, first of all, literally getting my face and voice out there and podcasting even in this very rudimentary form was a new avenue by which I could do that. And it has been enormously fun. Granted, it has been a journey, a journey of discovery. It was still very gratifying to do this over the past 10 weeks. And I have had a really fun time both by myself shooting these episodes in the episodes where I am speaking by myself and I'm delivering information by myself or when I have guests, I found it enormously satisfying to be able to do that with them. And to the two guests that joined in, Mercury Duma from the Duma Literacy Foundation and Nombu Melelom Shreshwa, thank you so much for coming through as guests for season one. Thank you so much for coming in as guests. I really had a wonderful time with both of you, both in the pre-shoot, during the shoot and after the shoot. It was really, really fun. In terms of the future of the podcast, so the format of the episodes thus far has actually been really informative, packing as much information as we can into an episode whilst making it easy and accessible to understand. A good friend of mine did say that, you know, the episodes come off as very educational. However, we lose a little bit of your personality in the episodes. And I said, well, that is fair. It's a, it's a little sacrifice that I had to make. Um, if you know me in person and you're listening to this because you know me as a person, you are li you've likely been a little bit surprised <laughs> at how much calmer or how much more reserved I'm sounding in these episodes. And that's mostly just on a personal consumption of content. Hmm, see, I'm sounding a lot more quiet, a lot more reserved in these episodes. It's literally because I wanted to deliver the information in a way that was as clear and as easy to understand as possible. Granted, that means that I would be taking on a lot more of a lecturing air as I am delivering this information. And especially because the information itself was pretty new. Not a lot of people would know about value innovation and value strategy. Granted, people would know a lot about value creation, but the former two, not so much. And so I wanted to spend as much energy as I could delivering that information in a way that it was as clear as possible. And I, unfortunately, a little bit of my personality was a little bit lost. And that's mostly because I wanted to be succinct. <laughs> much of my charisma comes not from being succinct, but from delivering the information or delivering whatever it is that I'm wanting to say in the most 
sparkly, shiny way that I can possibly make it. And that does not lend itself to being very succinct. <laughs> so in season two, because I've handled in season one, the delivery of the basics of value innovation and value strategy, I am going to be leaning a lot more into the sort of applications, practical daily applications of value innovation and value strategy. We're going to be seeing quite a few more case studies. We're going to be seeing quite a lot more nitty gritty getting into the concepts from a practical standpoint. So like I said, case studies, um, seeing how other organizations apply value innovation principles, that kind of stuff. And in doing that, I think that would lend a little bit more of the CM dinghy energy <laughs> into the delivery of the information. Cause that allows me to be a little bit more long winded without necessarily going completely off topic or losing everybody in the delivery of the information. So that should mollify those people that say, wow, Sia, you're sounding a lot like a lecturer and not quite like yourself. I will be mollifying you guys quite a bit in season two. Season two, in terms of also the content, I will be planning to have a lot more guests. I quite enjoyed having guests on, having them talking about their conceptualizations and applications of value innovation and value strategy. And I found that to be quite interesting. And I've had quite a few viewers come back and tell me and say, or listeners rather, depending on what platform you are on listening to this, whether you're listening or you're watching, I've had quite a few people come in and tell me that the guest episodes were gratifying to them, that yes, granted, the episodes where I was explaining the concepts were really informative. The guest episodes really helped them to get to grips with what I was discussed in the previous episodes. So I'm going to be leaning a little bit more on the guest episodes. I'll be having more guests on the season two of Inside Value which should be really fun for both me, the guests, and for you, well, for all three of us, not both. Um, so that should be really, really fun. In terms of when you can expect the second season of Inside Value, that is going to be happening from June of this year onwards. I'm wanting to give uh, both myself and the podcast a little bit of time to just lie fallow. Um, I'm wanting to spend a lot more time thinking about the stuff that I'm wanting to put in each individual episode, the directions I'm wanting season two to take within, of course, the framework of wanting more guests, wanting more case studies, wanting more practical applications of value innovation. And I'm going to need a little bit of time to get that together. So season two should be coming out from June of 2024. And from there onwards, you should be getting... Obviously, it'll be still one episode a week, but you should be getting all of these things that I just mentioned, and it should be really, really more fun. So yeah, that basically ends this final episode of season one of Inside Value. Inside Value will absolutely, like I mentioned, will absolutely be back from June or July. I'm thinking June though, June of 2024 with whole new guests, with new content and new ways for us to conceptualize and understand and apply concepts related to value creation, value innovation and value strategy. Thank you so much for this incredible 10 weeks. It has been a joy to be sharing insights on these concepts, to be getting helping you guys get to grips with value creation, both within your business or your nonprofit organization, or if you're just a casual listener wanting to learn a little bit more without necessarily being in those fields, thank you so much for joining. I really hope you've had a wonderful time over the past 10 weeks. And I hope you will be back for season two from June 2024. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Inside Value on your preferred podcasting platform. Be sure to follow Vive Consulting on LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube, and visit our website, vive.co.za, that is V-I-V-R-E 
www.cbc.co.za for more insights on value creation, value innovation, and value strategy. This has been Inside Value with me, Siam Dingi. See you in the next one.